I mean, I mean, the, 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 yeah. I mean, the, the spiritual privilege can be taken. At, uh, one can pass the threshold for their spiritual privilege to be revoked at any point, even middle way in a lifetime. So you could be. It's like selfishness. <clears throat> Becoming an addict, you know, at a certain, it's like at a certain point you cross a certain threshold where <clears throat> you, one's selfishness is like, in a split second, it's like your, the gravity of the soul, the karmic density of the soul, is now, it now means that the privilege to use willpower has suddenly been revoked. There is no turning back. You can't suddenly go like, okay, let me, <clears throat> let me just climb back and use my willpower and undo it. It's like now that privilege is gone. So the only way to, to stop that is to have a spiritual awakening. So, so it could happen that I'm, I'm not born an addict and then, I, you know, and then I'm Robin Baker is the whole life, you know, this lifetime. And then at a certain point it's like, okay, my soul is now, you've lost the privilege. Mm. That's it. So now for the rest of the lifetime I'll deteriorate uh, and then I'm, I'll, re I'll re reincarnate where I left off. So I'll carry on in my addiction, and then I'll never be able to use willpower until such time as you know I, I have a spiritual awakening. So 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 it can happen halfway through a lifetime. But if I, I was born an addict, i.e., it happened in my last lifetime, you know I, I will remain an addict, and probably uh, if if I get to end stage addiction, I'll die of addiction, uh, and then I'll just reincarnate over and over, lifetime after lifetime, until I have until I choose God. So it, it is a, it's a serious thing. It's like you can't like suddenly become an addict and just say, look, uh, God, can I have my license back? Can I use my willpower and not turn to you for alleviation?